What's up beautiful people, it's Cinderella. welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking this video from Dog in Exile. And it's titled, Sonny Hosting is finished. The view producer charges her with treason. What? Interesting, I'm excited to check this one out to hear what dog I've got to see. Let's check it out. Remember Sonny Hostin from The View? How can you forget that dangling? I hope like people are studying yeah. Hillary Clinton because what was surprising to me was that so many women voted against their best interests in voting for Trump and not Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Her hair's all up like a poodle. She got busted by her own producer on The View for visiting another show. I didn't think I was... Uh... My family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a fireable offense. You know, it certainly proves that she's a traitor. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenapel. This is where the happy patriots are. This is where you want to be all the way to November. This year, when Trump is our president again, we're only bringing you good news and happy things and fun things. And part of what's happy is when Sonny Hostin gets reprimanded and busted by her own show. The View producer got angry at Sarah Haynes and Sonny Hostin for attending Wendy Williams' talk show. Wendy Williams. And by the way, Sarah Haynes got busted too. I didn't even mention her because she's the invisible woman. <laughs> this is on Entertainment Weekly, by the way. This is a big kind of Hollywood rag. The View producer, Brian Teta, did not take a little time to enjoy the view of his on-air personalities sitting front row during the broadcast of the Wendy Williams show. How dare she? This is treason. Tata and current View co-host Sarah Haynes discussed the incident on Thursday's episode of Behind the Table Co podcast after the latter expressed that she's heartbroken over developments concerning Wendy Williams' recent diagnosis with aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. Okay, that's very serious. Our prayers go out to Wendy Williams. I wanted to go see Wendy, Sonny Hostin and I, Haynes told Tata, reflecting on her early tenure as a permanent panelist on The View years prior to William stepping down from her beloved talk show in 2021. Quote, we tried to get tickets through all of our hair and makeup people. Brian was like, you could ask for tickets. Like, we could probably arrange with the show, unquote. We got tickets and they were going to put us in the front row. Oh yeah, you don't want another show's hosts on the front row of your show. It looks bad. Haynes went on to praise do you know the problem this lady just want the attention all up on them because i mean they want to be in the front row for what exactly as pa this just gets all the more interesting i mean um are they sure it's just because she visited when the williams's show or the they visited when the williams show that they are charging her with this or something else is going to be at the same because i mean we've not had much of her lately but let's continue of your show it looks bad haynes went on to praise williams's interview style and said she quote wanted to witness that unquote in person we were taking pictures from the front row and you're like you literally are on camera in front row of another show haynes recalled and teta confirmed his disappointment mm. of course very upset with you girls <laughs> This might be the first time Teta has ever been upset in his life. Probably the last time was when he watched Schindler's List. The last time he was this upset. Yeah, I was not happy about it at the time because I thought it was early in the time you worked with here and you and Sonny got to go hang out and just be in the audience of another talk show. He said, guys, this is not what happens. You don't look into our audience and see Oprah hanging out in our second row. He shrieked, Tetra said, throwing a stapler at their head as they barely ducked it. And it, luckily it saved safely hit an intern in the face behind them, so they're all, whew, at least they didn't hit the talent's face. Though she appeared to eventually understand Teta's position, Payne said that she and Hostin weren't happy with Teta over his reaction either. Oh boy, okay. this is gonna be some real trouble in their commissary over caviar and gluten-free yogurt. Quote, we could not understand why, Haynes recalled. This is my Sarah Haynes impression, quote, we were so mad at you. We were like, why is he not celebrating with us? 
We're so excited, Imagine. unquote. That is so Sarah Haynes. Seriously, watch the view and you'll see I just nailed it. Teta's conversation with Haynes came out hours after the view welcomed Williams's niece, Alex Finney, to the table to reflect on her aunt's life as depicted in the new Lifetime documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? I think we're all saying that title out loud, Where is Wendy Williams? Which chronicles the mysterious circumstances surrounding Wendy's highly publicized retreat from the spotlight amid personal and health struggles that ultimately led to former View panelist Sherry Shepard inheriting the Wendy Williams show. Time slot. Oh, my word. Now, if you'll excuse me, my brain needs to go take a shower. New team, assemble! Maybe work out a little. Maybe have some meat. I'm a carnivore. You know, can you get some protein in there? This has been Doug in Exile. Oh my goodness. You sure these, these, ladies, these people just want the center of attention, want attention to be all up on them? Because why in the name would they run to Wendy Williams' show knowing that now she's trending and um, she's, uh, people are talking about her. There's a documentary about her. People are talking about regarding us. Um, sickness and um what she's dealing with and everything so now they want to be like oh let them be the f in the front row so the uh, camera will pick up on them so they have everything to say but of course i mean the same thing that the producer is angry at them mm -hmm. something is fishy but i hope there is nothing more behind the scene because i mean it, uh something else must also be going on before all of this rage and anger and all of this but we love to see this is the view love to see things like this but let me know what you think about this do you think um there is another big deal or is um, something else is um the cause that made the producer getting angry or whatever or do you think otherwise i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share I really love your honest contribution to this. You can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.